All right, dilutions. Let's just look a little bit more in detail about the math in dilutions. So let's use a 1 to 5 as an example. So let's say I'm going to do a 1 to 5 um, right here. And let's say I am low on sample and all I have to work with is, for example, is 50 microliters of sample. So you're on the dilution again, this is one part sample over five parts total. Therefore, your one part is going to be your 50 microliters. So how much are you going to have total? Well, to figure that out, simply do this. Take the 50 microliters, multiply it by this number, which gives you 250 microliters total. 50 microliters times 5 is 250 microliters. So you will have 50 microliters of plasma and a total of 250 microliters of uh, total volume. So how do you know how much diluent? You would take your total, your 250 microliters, and you would subtract from that your sample, which we know is 50 microliters, minus 50 microliters, and that would give you your diluent that you need. So 250 minus 50 is simply 200 microliters, and that would be the amount of diluent you would need to add. So you would pipe it 50 microliters of sample, 200 microliters of diluent, mix it, run it, and then when you get your sample results back, you will multiply them by 5, which is your dilution factor. So we'll put results here multiplied by 5, which is your dilution factor, which is always the bottom number here is your dilution factor. Dilution factor. And there you go.